Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. We are grateful. We are excited for the presence of the Lord. Yes. Amen. For the Spirit of the Lord is in this place. Yes. And we just worship Him right now. We give God glory. We give God yes. honor. Yes. We adore Him. Yes. For there is nobody like our God. There's nobody like our God. There's nobody in heaven like our God. There's nobody on earth like our God. Glory to God. There's nobody like our God. There was no God before him, and there will be no God after him. We're excited for the presence of the Lord. We're excited for the word of God. For the Lord is our God, and he is great and greatly to be praised. You all that is joining in right now, I just need you to lift your hands. Those that are in this house, I need you to lift your hands right now. Both hands, put that phone down. So Gina, lift your hands, reverence the Lord. Glory to God. Whoever's going to come on, they're going to come on. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. And just begin to worship. Just begin to worship. Hallelujah. Lord, we love you. Lord, we bless you. Lord, we praise you. Lord, we glorify you. Hallelujah, Holy Spirit, you are welcome. You are welcome in this place. Everyone that is coming on, God, everyone that is in this place, Lord God, I pray now that you will touch, that you will move upon them like never before. I pray, Holy Spirit, that you will begin to do a work in them, that you will begin to do a work in the atmosphere, that they shall know that it's supernatural and that it is God and God alone that shall bring them into that place, that promise, that blessing, that healing, that deliverance, that breakthrough that he has promised. For the God that we serve is not a God that he should lie because he's not like man. And Father, we thank you. We give you glory. We give you honor. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for a move of the Spirit. We thank you, Lord, that you have not forgot about us. We thank you, Lord. Though the light, though, though it seems that things are going haywire, God, you still have us in the palm of your hand. We thank you now, Lord God. We bless your holy name. We thank you. We thank you, we thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Our soul says yes tonight. Yes to your will and yes to your way. Our soul, Abashi, is hungry for you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, God, I thank you. Hallelujah. With hands lifted up before you, I thank you. With my heart being open, I thank you. With my spirit being open to you, I thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For you are worthy, Lord. Yes, you are. I give you the praise. I give you the honor. I give you the praise. Yes, I do. Hey. Yeah, that boy, see, you don't mind if we worship for a minute right here. Glory to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. God will forever give you the praise, the glory, and the honor. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, by the work and power of the Holy Spirit, we thank you and we praise you. And somebody help me say amen. Somebody help me say amen. 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 Come on, clap your hands. Clap your hands for a wonderful God. Clap your hands for an awesome God. Clap your hands for a God that is able to do it. Clap your hands because God is doing it right now. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We are, we are so excited.
excited. Amen. We thank God for you, 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 and you, and and those that will be tagging in later. We do thank God for you. We thank God for you that's in this house right now. Amen. Ready to hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying to the church. And you know God has had us on this is supernatural for a while, and we're not going to Amen. Move off of it until the Lord shift us. Amen. Amen. And until God is ready to move us, then that's what we're going to do. But he's not uh, ready to do that. Amen. While I was in uh, Arizona and I was at the gathering for the impartation in Arizona and, and part of the teaching that the Holy Spirit had given me, blessings, ble blessing, blessing, blessings to you. The Lord gave me a teaching. Y'all hear me say that uh, people are coming in and coming Amen. on and they're saying things. And I want them to know that I see them. Amen. Amen. And I want to respond back to them. Amen. Amen. And, and so while I was in the teaching, uh, glory to God, uh, son, mm, glory to God. Hallelujah. So chair or amen. While I was teaching, the spirit of the Lord, revelation came up, Pastor Evelyn. And it came up and it would start talking about the land. Yes. And when it started, the Lord started talking about the land, it even jolted me a little bit. Amen. Because he began to talk about something. I, I see you, prophetess Denise. I see you, girl. I see you. I grab your Bible. Grab Amen. your Bible. How about that? Amen. And um, he began to talk about the land. And he began to talk about uh, sometimes we don't understand that we're expecting people it's supernatural yeah we're expecting people to receive us come on and when we get caught up with the people receiving us and then they don't we get upset because if the people watch this if the people don't receive us then we feel that we can accomplish yeah. what god has called us to accomplish but that's not true God said, get your eyes off the people and get your eyes on me. And then I'm going to teach you about the land. Because if the land, L-A-N-D, if the land receive you, then ah. someone on the land yeah. is going to yeah. come into alignment and help you. Come on, mother. Are you hearing yes. me? And see, it's talking to us and he's talking so profound to us. A lot of us are going through and of us is wondering why things have not happened for us and and why have we not have not come into the fullness <clears throat> excuse me of the financial realm of the move watch this the lord said i reign i reign not r-e-i-g-n but i reign r-a-i-n i reign on the just as well as the unjust you need to sit up sites because you need to sit up glory to god I reign, R-A-I-N, not I reign, yeah. R-E-I-G-N, because that's rule. Yes. Are you hearing me? Yes. I rule over the just and the unjust. Well, if you don't accept God mm -hmm. as your God, then you don't accept him as your ruler. Yes. So when he said, I reign, R-A-I-N, on the just as well as the unjust, he is literally saying, I reign on the ground or I reign <laughs> on the land. Amen. Are you hearing me? Yes. I see your apostle Nesbitt. God bless you, woman of God. I reign on the just as well as the unjust, mm -hmm. which means when we go back to Genesis, we need to understand that we all, no matter if you're black, white, are you hearing me? Yes. Uh, uh, Puerto Rican, are you hearing me? Spanish, we all came from the Land. We came from the land, which was the <laughs> ground. Are you hearing yeah. me? So when the rain fell in Genesis, it fell where? <laughs> on the land. Are you hearing me? And yeah. so for that reason, he is still raining on the land. Y'all, 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 the little short bus. Okay, still, boy. he's still raining on the land. Are you hearing me? Now, I don't want you to get in your mind this natural land yeah. because he's raining. Natural rain is coming down. Right. Are you hearing me? There are certain places rain does not come down like it should come oh, down. Oh, are you hearing me? Yeah. If you go to Arizona, it'll rain, but then it's stopping. It look like it never rains. Mm -hmm. You can go to Atlanta. You can, uh, what is it, Atlanta, or maybe Texas, yeah. but really Atlanta, Georgia. You go to Georgia and it rains a lot. Yes. Are you hearing me? Amen. It rains. You don't get a lot of rain in Arizona, but it does rain. Yes. Are you hearing me? Yes. So surely, okay, if it don't rain that much in Arizona, then how can they have productivity? 
Teach Are you hearing me? Yes. And how is it so much rain goes on in Georgia and you still have yeah. poverty? Come on, my are you hearing me? That is because, glory to God, God is saying, when I, and I'm going to take us to scripture, yes. when I said I reign on the just as well as the unjust, when I spoke it, I spoke it into existence yes. about the rain, okay? We're going to take a pause break right there. Right. So we need to understand, okay? Will the land receive your or reject your seed? Mm. Uh -oh. Will the land receive or reject your seed? Are you hearing me? Will the land receive or reject your seed? This is supernatural now. It's supernatural. And once you get clarity, insight, and understanding of some things, then you know how to operate, watch this, in the realm of the spirit and call it to the earth. Mm -hmm. Are you hearing yes. me? You have to understand that everything you see in the earth, Pastor Evelyn, is symbolic of heaven. All right, mother. Okay, because in Genesis, we're going to go there. We're going to go there. We need to understand. Are you hearing me? I told him before, you see streets out there, right? Yes. Well, where did God get streets? He got streets from heaven. Are you hearing me? Earth mirrors heaven. Uh, is anybody listening to everybody Amen. go home? Amen. Are you hearing me? Yes. When you look at the word of God, the word suburbs came from out the word of God. Uh -huh. Man and just make up suburb. Come it on, is mother. in the word of God. <laughs> Anybody listen or did everybody I'm go listening. home? So we need to understand that will the land receive your or reject your seed? My God from Zion. Mm. So here it is. We're talking about supernatural. Let's get a little review real quick. Uh, it is events that take place outside of the realm of normal. So if God have you in here tonight and have you watching on tonight, you have been handpicked by God. For God is saying to you and I, listen, the things that are to happen in your life, it will not be normal. Yes. The yes. things that are going to take place in your life, your blessing, your healing, come on here, your breakthrough, hello somebody, uh -huh. doors opening for you, how you doing, like yes. divine connection, it is not going to be normal. Somebody else can walk up to you and say, you know what, I, may, I met John, James, Sue, and whoever, and I met him like this. Well, God said he told us last Wednesday, I'm coming a whole different way because I have to do what? I have to confuse the enemy because the enemy know you up on a brink yes, of a yes, blessing yes, yes, yes. and if you're up on a brink of a blessing then guess what God has to do it a different way it has to be here we go I have not seen ear have not heard neither has it entered into the heart of men what the spirit the spirit the yes, spirit yes, the spirit yes. the spirit not your money the spirit the spirit not somebody you know the spirit the spirit not your job the spirit are you hearing me? Yes. It is going to be by the spirit of God, what God is going to do for you and I, and he's going to come another way. Are you hearing me? Yes. And the Holy Ghost told me to tell everybody in here, watch what happened now that God is getting ready to deal with your land. Ah, well, come see, on you and I need to shout come right on. now because look at your neighbor, tell your neighbor, in reality, I don't own no land. In reality, I don't own no land. So surely he ah. can't be talking in the natural, yes. but there's some land in the rim of the spirit that got my name on it. Anybody listen or did everybody go home? Because reality, some of us own land in the natural and some of us don't. Yes. So that means if God is talking to his sons and daughters, and if some of his sons and daughters don't own land, yes. then surely that X some of us out. Look at your neighbor, tell your neighbor, he's not Xing his son and daughters out that don't yes. own natural land because because he's getting ready to tell us how to own it in the realm of the spirit. And when you know how to own it in the realm of the spirit, it must show up in the natural. I need somebody to say yes. Yes. Glory yeah, to God. Hallelujah. The problem is, it is your land. Are you hearing me? Yes. The problem is, you have to understand, Pastor Evelyn, glory to God. When a woman is pregnant, the pregnant, the, 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 the womb of that woman is considered a land. Come on, mama. Come on. Come on. Come on. It is the male that has the seed. It is the woman that carries. Now watch this. If it's the male that has the seed and the woman that carry, but it's the woman that's barren. 
because if the seed go into the woman womb, which is the ground or the land, yes. and she is barren, yes. it cannot produce. That's why sometimes, amen, the man and the woman or the husband and the wife, they go to the doctor to find out, is it him? Because he can't shoot out seeds. Or is it her? Because she, she is not able, glory to God, to produce and to carry. Is anybody listening? Yes. Woo, glory to God. And God said, the problem is not the seed. Come on, mother. Because the on. seed is God. It is his word. Yes. The problem is us, the land. Any, I'm about to shout already and we already started because when you get revelation about what God is talking about, you know you're about to enter into a place you've never been before. I need three people in the house and three people that's not in the house, but on Facebook Live, say yes. Yes. <laughs> ah, glory to his wonderful name. So there's some things that's getting ready to, amen, take place. My God, outside the rim of normal. Are you hearing yes. me? Outside of rim yes. of normal. Ah, uh, it, it's not going to be normal. Are you hearing me? You and I don't have enough money I to get know. that. But oh, if my land in the spirit rim is like God has called it to be, who will stop me from getting it? Who will stop it from coming to me? Who will my God out of the DOC hinder it? Look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor that's when God say no more delays. That's what God said. No more delays. That's when it is and when it is no more delays because it can't be any more delays when your land has been cultivated, when your land has been prepped. Uh, oh are you hearing me? Mama. For the things of God to bring forth. For I heard the Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Tell Mary through Gabrielle, you're going to bring forth. In other words, the land, her womb was going to do what? Bring forth. It don't make no sense to be jumping around after you get the word and you can't bring forth what God said. Who am I talking to? Because when you get the word, I see you, Jocelyn. Hey, when you get the word, that's the seed. That's the seed. So ain't nothing wrong with the seed. It's something wrong with the womb. And the womb is the land. And you can't bring forth. There's a problem. Look at your neighbor and say, sorry, but there's a problem with you. Sorry. There's a problem with you. Yes, Lord. Lord. Yes, Lord. God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Ain't nothing wrong with the word. The word is the seed. Come and on, glory Father. to God. And the seed is being released. So it must be a problem with the land. Yes. The land is the womb of you. Look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor whatever God got to do tonight uh, to get my land uh, in the place it needs to be. Then he going to do it tonight because I'm leaving out of here with something. 2016, I'm leaving out with what. What God said. I'm going to be doing what God said I was going to do. Because there's nothing wrong with the seed. There's nothing wrong with the word. It got to be something wrong with the land. I see your prophet. I see your prophet Fisher. Glory to God. Got to be something wrong with the land. Look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor it's time to go to work now. Time to go to work now. All right, let me ask you this question. Work it, mother. The things or the events or the plans mm -hmm. that you go to do, number one, does it fail when you go to do it? Number two, does it ever, ever, now and then work? All right? Or number three, everything you touch or go to do flourish. Now, you're going to find yourself in one of those three. Are you hearing me? Yeah. Because if you find yourself, it, it, it just fails. You know, I go to church and I study my word and I hear the word of God. But guess what? There is no what? Productivity. Or number two, I see it every now and then. But that's not scripture because scripture says I'm going to take you to a land that has a what? A flow. There is not a on and an off switch. Yes. Are you hearing me? Yes. And ev evidently we ain't hit the land that causes the what? The flow. Oh, no. Look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor everything I touch for the rest of this year. Everything I touch for the rest uh -huh, of this year. Is going to flourish. Going to everything flourish. I go to do everything for the rest of this year is going, is going to flourish. Don't worry about 2017. Because if I got 2016 if I got, 2016, if I got it already covered, you know what's going to happen in 2017. Somebody clap your hands and say yes. Yeah. Yeah. 
souls. So, Woo! especially to leaders that's on here, we go and we go to do events or we do whatever it is the Lord has told us to do. And when we go to do it, glory to God, sometimes it just flourishes. And then sometimes we look like, okay, God, what happened? Uh-huh. Look at y'all looking at me. And God said it wasn't the seed. It wasn't the word. Because if it was the word, you wouldn't have did it. Come you on, made Lord. sure it was me telling you Come to on. do it. Come on. So it was not the word. It was because your land was not ready to bring forth. Uh-huh, I'm talking to somebody. Uh-huh, they telling me right there, I'm talking to somebody. Yes. Are you hearing me or did yes. everybody go home? Obviously. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Look at your neighbor and say, here we go. Here we go. Find yourself going to Revelation 21 and 5. Ah, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We talked about this, amen, in Arizona, and it, it really began to stick with me. Mm. Let me help you with something. Help. If the land, you, you, let, me, let, let me let me say it like this. Scripture says, and I'm going to have about two people in here get ready to shout. The scripture says, if you go to a man's house, okay? If you go to a man's house and you go in there and you go in there and you're walking in there right right are you hearing me yes. but if the peace you you go in the man's house and your peace is now released if your peace are you hearing me if they don't accept you accept the message that you are bringing even if there is a uh, turbulence the atmosphere is not peaceful then you can't stay there right it has nothing to do with the carpet come on mother look at your neighbor and said it has nothing to do with the color of the carpet it has nothing to do with the color there's of the carpet there's something in the atmosphere in the land on the ground that is not peaceful all right, all right ma well let me help you with something how does one define an earthquake you define an earthquake. How do you know you had an earthquake? Because there was something going on in the land that did not a man work together. Because if it worked together, you wouldn't have an earthquake. Oh, Are you hearing yes. me? The land will be at what? At peace. Yes. Uh-huh. Look at your neighbor. Tell your neighbor, it's not up on who's trying to come after you. Ooh, it's not up on it's who, who hates you. Please get your you. eyes off of who hates you, who don't like you, who don't want to open up the door. Baby, because when God get done with you tonight, if that land, that yes. ground, glory that God receives you, they going to have to move over for yes. you. I said, right. if that ground, yes. are you hearing me? When you st oh, tell them that, Holy Ghost, here we go. The Bible said, whether soever the soles of your feet shall tread upon. That's talking about a land. I'm yes. going to do what? I'm going to give it to you. In other words, the land must yield peace to you. In order for you to get increase from the land, the land must receive peace. Peace. Yes. If it does not, here it is. Do not shout me down. Just shout God down. How about that? If they do not receive your message, if they do not receive you, the Bible says, shake the dust off your feet. Where does the dust come from? So why would God ah! say, shake the dust off of your feet if they do not, <laughs> amen, accept your message Ooh. and take your peace back? Come on. He said, shake the dust, shake the dust, shake the dust. The dust come from what? The land. Are you hearing yes. me? Mm. Look at y'all looking at me. Oh, God yeah, said, yeah. I'm talking to oh, you yeah. about your land. When yes. you go and you go into an atmosphere that is not right, people not living right. Are you hearing me? Yes. Now, if you go into a house and you know that house is cussing and all that, that land is not of God. Come on, mother. Are you hearing me? That land is evil, is wicked, and it is producing, are you hearing me? Yes. Unclean things. Yes. Did y'all get producing unclean things? Are you hearing me? So when you go in there, you ain't going to sit there and say, why y'all sitting up in here cussing? And why y'all sitting? Because why? you already you knew already what Come type on. of atmosphere or land you was going in. Come Girl, on. that's a sharp couch. And God said, you missed it because it wasn't a sharp couch. It's the land that they're planting there. 
seeds on yes. and this is the productivity of oh. what is coming from that land but if I come into a house that is supposed to be saved sanctified filled with the gift of the Holy Ooh. Ghost or is anybody listening yes. or did everybody go home if I'm supposed to enter into a natural house or even a church house Ooh. however you want to take it you just take it yes. and I go in I'm in there and the atmosphere is not the atmosphere of God yes. it is the land yes. He called Obosia It is the land, glory to God, that has been, guess what? Disrupted. Yes. That's how you get an earthquake. Right. Mm. And it starts moving and it travels through the ground. Yes. Are you hearing me? Yes. Because the peace was disrupted. Yes. Oh yes. my God. Go ahead, mother. And when they don't receive you, and when you come, you coming in peace. peace. Hallelujah. <laughs> and when you come in peace, and you're trying to tell them this, that, or the other, right. and they are rejecting and refusing, is anybody listening or did everybody I go listen. home? Then you got to turn around and say, all right, I don't have nothing else to say. Is anybody listening? I'm and listening. then God said, when you turn around, shake the shake dust, the dust off, off your feet. feet. Take your yeah, peace take back peace because back. your peace could not Come get on. settled in that land. Hello. Amen. Amen. And he said it's going to be worse for them. Are you hearing me? Yes. Than the land, not the people. Come the on. land of Sodom and Gomorrah. Are you hearing me out there? Did yes. everybody go home? So I'm you here. got to be careful and protect your land. Oh, your land. Are you hearing me? Yes. You better learn how to put up signs and say this is what? Private property. And yes. if you try to come on illegal, you are going to get anybody listening. Did right. everybody go home? Why? Because I don't need anybody to do what? Disrupt, Disrupt my right. land when my land has what? Peace, Peace. on it. Yes. Are y'all ready? Yes. Are y'all ready? I'm ready? Revelation chapter 21, verse 5. That, that, that was for free right there. Amen. Thank you. That's right. Hit them hearts. Hit them all. Oh, Amen, man. somebody. Amen. Why would God say, shake the dust off your feet, Sykes? <laughs> the dust come from the land. Right. Right. And then he said, take your peace back. Yeah. Amen. Okay? Right. So will the land receive you or reject your seed? Watch this. Watch this. Revelation 21 and verse 5. The Bible decrees the word of God to be so. And he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said unto me, Write. These words are true and faithful. God told me to tell everybody that's in this house and everybody that's watching by the way of Facebook Live and Periscope. God said, I'm making all things new. And the reason why you shouting and you saying glory, because God said, I'm making your land new. Come on, because I'm giving you clarity, insight, and understanding about your land. Is anybody listening? Did everybody I'm go listening. home? Because you got to understand, God said, no more barrenness no shall more. be on your land. Come on, come on. Look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor, there was nothing wrong with the seed. There was nothing wrong with the seed. Oh, yeah, that boy, There had to be something wrong with my womb or the land. Mother, he please. said, God said, tell them this is true and this is faithful. Yes. In other words, what I'm telling you tonight, God said, I am doing a new thing. Mm. Mm. Uh-huh. I'm making, I'm creating in your life all things new. Yes. In other words, where you were lacking, you won't be lacking no more. Uh -huh. You can't be lacking and then be in the land flowing. It's either you're lacking or you're oh, you flowing. Come Look on, at your buddy. neighbor, tell your neighbor, it's up to you. It's Either you're you. lacking or you're flowing. You're lacking or you're flowing. Look at your neighbor, tell your neighbor, I'm getting ready to flow. I'm getting ready to flow. Uh-huh, go to Deuteronomy. Go to Deuteronomy, uh-huh. Yeah, yes, yes, just receive that, receive that. That's right, receive it. He said, I make all things new. See, when God begins to show us the problem, watch this, we have a problem, he reveals the problem, then he brings the solution to the problem. Yes. Are yes. you hearing me? Yes. He brings it to us, but he don't make us do it. 
Are you hearing me? Because many times he brought the solution and we shouted over the solution, but we never Watch this. We never received or conceived it. We never really understood what we was taking in. Y'all going to be all right. Come on, brother. Uh-huh. Come because on. if you understood what you was taking in, right. okay, here we go. Y'all taking me back. We was we was little kids, and, you know, we had little colds and sniffle here and sniffle there. Uh-huh. And then my mother said, okay, we get ready to give you some medicine, some cod liver oil. Yeah. Hallelujah. That didn't taste good. You understand what I'm saying? And so, but yeah. she understood. Watch this. Y'all gonna make me run. She understood what we was taking in and it was gonna go to our stomach. And whatever was in the stomach that was not right making you not feel well, it was gonna disrupt it and remove it out so your stomach or your land can feel well. Come on, mother. Come on. Oh my God. Come on. Oh my God. Yes. Oh my God. Yes. You say, well, if I could just take something else than that because it don't taste good. Right. And she said, I'll be quiet in about the taste. It's about getting you well. Come on, Because something down on the inside of your womb has been yes. affected. Yes. Look at your neighbor. Tell your neighbor, my land been affected. My land been affected. Uh-huh. And that's why it's not producing. And that's why it's not producing. Uh, that I won't see. It ain't because God ain't sending the word. It ain't because God ain't sending the word. It's my land. It's my land. I told y'all to go where? Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy. Let's go. Deuteronomy. Look at your neighbor. Say, it's supernatural. It's supernatural. <laughs> Hallelujah. Deuteronomy chapter 1. Everybody that have your Bible, have your sword. Deuteronomy chapter 1 and verse 8. The Bible decrees the word of God to be so. It says, here it is. Behold, I have set the land yes. before you. Go in. Okay. I have set, I have positioned the land before you. Now, when you go back to Revelation chapter 4 and you go back to around verse 2, the Bible says, here it is, the door opened, right? right. When the door opened, John said the very first thing he heard was a voice, a trumpet sound. And this sound, the voice was talking to him saying, come up hither. hither. Are you hearing me? And immediately he was where at? In the spirit, the first thing he saw was a throne. And the throne was set right in front of him. God said here in the word, he said, behold, I have set. I have positioned. I have put it in front of you. Look at your neighbor. Tell your neighbor right now when I look in front of me, I don't see a land. Right now when I look in front of me, I don't see a land. So he ain't talking about natural. So he ain't talking about natural. So when God said, behold, look, that means look in the rim of the spirit because before you, I have put a land. Lord have mercy. That means you got to tap in yes. to the rim of the spirit because it's not in front of your natural eyes. It is in front of your spiritual eyes. On, Who am I talking on, to? Mother. And if you can't see it while I'm teaching, then guess what? You will never get it. Ooh. Because he said it's set, it's positioned in front of you. And if you can't see it, you start running all over the place. And it has already been what? Set in set front of you. Set the land before you. Then it says, go in. And what? Possess the land. You know what? Teach mother. Let me tell you about a little dog. Teach mother. Let me tell you about a little puppy. Yeah. A little puppy, little <laughs> dog. Y'all know what I'm getting ready to say. Yes. They get ready to mark their territory. Yes. They get ready to go in. And they getting ready to tell you, this is my land. Right, this yeah. is my spot. Are you hearing me? Wow. So they go and they go and do their thing. They go yeah. and twink, twink. Anybody listening? Yes. Everybody go home. I'm so they go you. and they do their thing. And then they got the audacity to take their back paws and then they going to shake, shake the dust. dust. Y'all better come on here. Because what is the dog saying when he shake the dust? He said, this is my land and I'm doing what? I'm possessing it. So even though I walk away, I don't have to Jesus. walk all, all over, all around trying to find the land. I go right I back to the place. place. <laughs> Ooh. Hey, come on, I go 
already possessed. I went in. See, why God is talking to you right now and you hearing it, he said, you're only going to possess this land by the spirit. That's why you have not been bringing forth. Yes. Because you want to run to your job yes. and you want to possess that. Come on, mother. You want to run to your job yes. and you want to possess that. Yes. You want to run to a job and you want to possess that. Come on, and the reason why you can't possess that because you illegal. You got to possess the land. Ooh. Yo. Come on and teach, mother. You got to possess the land while you trying to possess a building. Ooh. Ooh. Y'all ain't saying that it's what? Y'all what? Y'all trying to get, uh, you know, resuscitated yes, what? You, you, you understand what right. I'm saying? That's why, glory to God, when they tell you no, you get upset. Yeah. Because you never, glory to God, tapped in and possessed the land. Because let me help you with something. When God said, I've given you that land, whatsoever the soles of your feet tread upon, they can't tell you no. It don't matter what type of people in there. Please don't let me hurry up and get to numbers. I'm trying to take y'all step by step. But we sitting here saying, I don't understand this. The devil and you is a liar. He said, you got to go in. You got to go in. And then he turns around and said, not just go in, but you got to go up. And you got to go to do what? To possess it. You just want to work somewhere. You don't want to possess it. Okay. See, the land has to receive you. Yes. Yes. Go ahead. Go ahead, mother. Anybody listen to everybody I'm go home? Listening. Are you with me or what? Yes. Huh? I'm listening. The land has to receive you. Yes. The land has to receive you. Okay. Okay. My, my own self, there's other people, and some of y'all here, you know this. When you ever move to another place or move to another state, you mm -hmm. don't know nobody. Right. Okay? You don't know nobody. You know what? Well, you don't really have a job. You're just moving on faith. Yes. Okay? You're moving on faith. And all of a sudden, you talking to God. Are you hearing me? God, are you telling me to go here? Are you telling me to go to that land? Watch this. Not the city. The land. Because before you literally get to the city, you got to get to the border, right? Yes. You leave one state land and you get to the next land, or another, the other state land. Am I talking? Right. Are you hearing what I'm saying? If the state land does not receive you, it don't matter what city you go and lodge in. Brother, I now, see, that was, that was, yeah, 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 yeah. Are you hearing me? And so now the Lord told you to go because he said the land has received you. Right. Are you hearing me? Right. And then when you get there, you go looking for a job and everything just boom, 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 fall into place. You start shouting, oh, look what the Lord has done. And then he calls you to find a house. And everything fall into place. You had no struggle. Are you hearing me? What just happened? What is God saying to you? The land received you. Okay. Come on, mother. The land received you because everything fell in place. You think it was a person. You thought it was that building. Are you hearing me? But no, God said the land. Go and possess the land. Are you hearing me? And the land is going to receive you. So when you step up and pull your car to the parking lot, hollow lights, and you ain't even went into the building, and you ain't even sat down and said, my name is, to the person that's going to interview you, are you hearing me? As a matter of fact, by the time you get up in there, they don't even interview you. They just get to know your name and shake your hand and say, when can you start? Oh, my God, you start shouting when you get outside in the parking lot because you thinking that it was the person. Right. And God said, no, it was the land. The land received you. My God. You, you oh, oh, see, I not, oh, oh, Ooh, glory to God. Look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor, the land is trying to receive you. The land is trying to receive you. So now watch this. So you, 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 you begin to have everything all in place. It wasn't no struggle, was it? Right. Wasn't no struggle, was it? Ooh. And the first thing we say, ooh, the devil wasn't messing with that. Yeah. The devil can't mess with the land. Jesus. Oh, y'all better come on. Ahead, ba -ba -ba. See, he can try to disrupt it. Are you hearing me? Get you upset. Because when you get upset, when you get frustrated, you're not at peace. So if you're not ooh. at peace, how can your land you be say? at peace? What you say, mother? Are you hearing me? And if words are seeds. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Call your bow shot now. Yeah. Then you're speaking out of frustration. frustration. That's Come it. on. Ain't nobody got to be around you. That job ain't got to be. But you are frustrated and you are saying your frustration out of your words and it's falling on your what? On your land. And now guess what? You want to bring forth blessings. You want to bring forth, come on now, promises and it can't come forth. Are you hearing me? Yes. Huh? Yes, the land is trying to receive you. Come on here. Huh? If we could just get off of the haters, move all it out the way. Okay. I need to know why I'm walking in this lack. I need to I need to one I want to know why am I still hearing the word of God, knowing God talking to my season, and nothing has changed. I need to know that. I need to know that God is telling me great things to do for ministry, for the kingdom of God. Then when I go to do it, it does not flourish like God showed me. Come on, mother. I need to know what's going on. I need to know. That's true. I need to know. It's all dealing with your land. Yes. Oh y'all hear me? This might be this might be a thick pill that you can't really swallow because you don't want to understand it because you want somebody to say money coming. Well, money trying to come, but it can't come because your land is supposed to bring forth. Right, right. Come on, you you helping me? You helping me? Oh, Jesus, help us, Holy Spirit. Yes, Lord Jesus. Okay, I told y'all to go where. I was there. What not there? Let's finish. Here we go. Had to take that pause break. Behold, I set the land before you. Go in, possess the land, which the Lord swear. Un okay. All right. Here we go. The Lord said, I've given you the land, right? Right. right. Go and possess the land. Right. All right. You know all that, right? Right. Then somebody come and prophesy, I see you with a car. Mm -hmm. You start shouting all over the place, right? Yes, well, where's the car at? Okay. What, 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 see, y'all, it ain't a hard answer. Ooh. Where's the car at? It is on the land. a land. Yes. So I'm trying to hurry up and get to the car the lot, car lot. Mm -hmm. and get the car. Yes. And not understanding, I have not dealt with the land. In the spirit, my daughter said. <laughs> Are you hearing me? And then watch this, Pastor Evelyn. Then because I did not do it, when I get there, now I'm worried. What you worried about? Because my credit is jacked up. I already know that. They're about to know it. You understand? Right. I don't have no money. So, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Guess what? All that now is working on your land. Yeah. Are you hearing me? Uh-huh. But see, before you got there, the car is sitting on the land, and God said, I've already told you to go in right. and possess the land. Uh -huh. You got to possess the land. The car, the car is already sitting on the land. Go ahead, Father. Your deliverance is already sitting on the land. That means when you get to that place, the place is going to yield the deliverance. Are y'all okay out there? I got a few more minutes with you. Are, are you seeing scripture? Huh? Because we sitting here and the Lord said, I have told you to possess the land. Possess it now. Possess it now. Possess it now. Possess it now. Go in. It's in front of you. Possess it now. If it's in front of you, why did you have to get in the car, get on the highway, go down about 10 to 20 exits, then turn, turn right, then go down about five streets, street lights, then make a left? If he said it's in front of you, why did you have to do all that? Because we don't understand the supernatural. We don't understand the rim of the spirit. He said, possess it now. Possess that land now. Are you hearing me? Yes. A person that owns the land, they know how they operate. You can't come on their land acting any old kind of way. That's it. Are you hearing me? Yes. They're going to call the law. Right. But the law of God is with you. And he's saying to you, while you sitting in these plushes and pretty chairs, he's saying to you, it's right before you. The land mm -hmm. is in front of you. The job mm -hmm. is in front of you. The position is in front of you. Possess it. Yes. Right. Because it's the land. 
So then when God take you to the place, you don't have to worry because the person that is connected to the land is going to do whatever it is. Right. Because uh, it's the land that's going to do what? Bring forth. It's going to be the land that is going to do what? Bring forth. Woo. And guess what? We can't say it all tonight. So I'm going to have to have another teaching next week on this. He said, the land which the Lord swear unto your fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, to give unto them and to their seed after them. So if you and I do not know how to go in to possess the land, we can't expect our children. We cannot expect to show them. We only can show them what it is and how it is we used to doing stuff. And guess what? Mm, they not going to get too far. Right, right, right. They not going to have too Jesus. much. Are you hearing yes. me? But if we do it God's way, right. there is a land right. that's flowing with blessings and revelation. Ooh. Go to Numbers 33. Are y'all okay? Uh -huh. Oh, wait a minute. I got to go back. Hold on. Hold on. You got to get verse you got to get verse 21 out of this one too. Look, the Lord thy God had set the land before thee. Go up. Go up. Go up. So it ain't talking about run on over there to the Cadillac place. Right. <laughs> Hello, go up. You trying to hurry up and run to the Cadillac place. And he said, I'm trying to get you to do what? Possess the land. And the only way you're going to possess the land is go up. The only way you're going to get more hours, you're going to have to go up. Come on here and teach. And possess it. Go up and possess it. Go up and possess it. Can I just tell you about, can I tell you something real quick? Yes. Get your eyes off the model of the car. Come on now. Help. And possess the land. Jesus. Okay. You talk, come on. Okay, y'all going to be all right. Y'all going to be all right. That's why you ain't got nothing That's right now because you're not possessing the land. You're not going up in the rim of the spirit and you're not possessing it. In the natural, you don't own no land. No land. That's true. None. <sighs> so then how can this promise be to us if we don't own no land? He's talking about the rim of the spirit. You're going to own it in the spirit. And guess what? If you own it in the spirit, it must yield in the natural. It's supernatural. He said, go up, go up, go up. John the Revelator. I was right there with you. You was there? I was there. Invitation. There. Come up. That was the invitation. Come up and possess it. Come up and possess it. Come up and possess it. As the Lord God to, of thy fathers, uh, uh, our fathers has said unto thee, fear not, need to be discouraged. They ain't going to turn you down. Did y'all hear me? They not going to turn you down. That house, when you get to go, they not going to turn you down. That job, they're not going to, look at y'all looking at me. <laughs> now you can shout because you got a revelation of why they not going to turn you down. Because no one can turn a person down that God said, I've given you the land. Now go up and possess it. Who is going to turn you down when you possess the land? Because in the natural, whoever owns the land, that's the person that turns it down. Not the ones that do not own it. Are you understanding? Yes. So Thank if you. you are the possessor and you possess in the land, that means you're the owner. So then, therefore, the person cannot turn you down. Come on. Oh, oh yes, Lord God. Jesus. This is good. Uh, I thank you. Tell the Lord, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank are y'all hearing me? Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. Yes. How you, how you think you got all them cars Flowing like that. Yeah. You just came into God. Don't let me take my glasses off. You ain't know nothing, but guess what you did? You did what God told you to do. You begin to do what? You begin to look crazy because you was possessing the land. You were standing there and you was going in the spirit and you was possessing it. Are you hearing me? Yes. Then all of a sudden, boom, brought forth. Here come a car. Yes. Coming your way. Yes. Come on. Paid in full. Yes. Insurance paid up a year. Yes. What's wrong with y'all? Yes, mother. Yes. Yes. Huh? Woo. My God. 
This is a whole lot, so don't worry. We ain't finna cram all of it in. We gonna do what we gotta do right now. And then next week, the Lord Terry, we gonna come right back here and we are going to finish it. Are you hearing me? The Lord said. And guess where the land at? It's in front of you, but it ain't right in front of you. You got to go up. You got to go up in the rim of the yes. spirit. And when you go up in the rim of the spirit, stop trying to possess the car. Stop yes. trying to possess the house. Yes. Stop trying to possess the job and possess the land. That is so Thank good. you. Stop trying to possess the ministry. Yes, Lord. Yes. See that? Possess the land. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah! That's Hallelujah! Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Look at your neighbor. Tell your neighbor, I got to get this land. I got to resist this land. I got to get this land. I got to get this land. I got to get this land. And God so, so, so awesome and so merciful, he said, I'm going to give y'all the answer on how to get it. And the answer is, go up. Go up in the realm of the spirit. Stop saying, I don't have the money. Stop saying I don't have the experience. Stop saying all oh, my I, I, I'm in debt. All that's in what the natural yeah. realm. Now I'm not telling you not to get all that stuff corrected. Are you hearing me? But God is able. Make it plain. Are you hearing me? Yeah. Because sometimes we use spirituality, glory to God, to cover up, glory to God, our inconsistent of doing what we need to be doing. Are yes. you hearing me? Yes. So God is going to do it, and why He's doing it? Go clean up stuff. See. Go clean up your credit. Go clean up. Are you understanding what I'm yes. saying? Don't just get so happy that you're possessing the land and then God begins to call it to come forth, bring forth, and then you sit here and you still got bad credit. Why? Come on. You sit here and you don't have the right criteria of, 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 of um, what is it, IDs and different things of that nature. Yes. Because, see, I got it now. Mm -hmm. I got it now. So why do I need to clean that up? Right. I got it now. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. God showed you. Are you hearing me? Yes. But you and I still need to what? Have integral. Yes. So go clean up your mess that when we was in the world acting a plump fool and we didn't understand, hello, our credit was important. Ooh. Come on. Y'all not saying amen. Y'all oh, went down way. because now it's going to cause you to go and run and get stuff. Go, go find out how much oh, debt you have. Yes. yes. Why you got Yes. The manifestation. Because I'm going to get my stuff cleaned up. Jesus! Are you hearing me? Just because God gives you the key and gives you the know-how, how to possess a land, you and I still need to be integral in the earth. Yes. Okay? We wouldn't listen. This is how we was taught in the earth, and that's what we did. Now God is coming back and to correct all the stuff we was taught. So guess what? We need to take the opportunity and the time and to do what? To get those things corrected. Somebody say amen. Amen. All right, now. Can y'all go to... Uh, Go to Genesis. All right, a couple more minutes. Go to Genesis because I'm getting ready to show you something. He said you got to go up. To possess the land, you got to go up. You got to understand either the land is going to receive you or it's going to reject you. Either the land is going to receive the seed or it's going to reject the seed. Are you hearing me? Either the land is going to receive the seed or it's going to reject the seed. Are you hearing me? Now, the Lord said to do what? That the land in front of you is to possess. That means that's a word. That means that's a seed. That means the land in the rim of the spirit already know you coming. Okay. Ooh. 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 <laughs> already know you coming. Ooh. Are you hearing me? Don't make no sense when somebody know you coming and then you turn around don't come. Come they on. already got everything prepared for you, and you don't come. Then you call and say, I'm sorry, I got tired. And I had all this stuff prepared. Oh, okay, precious. And guess what? You'll know the next time. Well, I can come tomorrow. No, you no. can't come tomorrow because it was ready for you today. Ooh, my God. It's ready for you today. The day the Lord released the seed, he said, harden not your heart. Yes. The day you hear my voice. The day you hear the seed, the day you hear the word going forth for you, you do what I tell you to do. Go up in the rim of the spirit and begin to possess the land. Stop trying to possess the car and possess the land. Stop trying to possess the job and possess the land. Yes. Stop, anybody listening? I'm listening. 
Woo! Kiko Boshia na ra 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 Hey Jesus, take hold of Boshada. Yes, Lord, I told you I go to jail. I'm possessing the land while I'm teaching y'all. I'm possessing Boshanda na Bohaya. Hey God, I thank you. You sit talking about what you ain't got. I ain't got the money. My credit is jacked up. I don't know who to go to. I don't know who can help me. Is anybody? I was just getting ready to say, is anybody listening? Everybody go home. And Tamika said, I'm listening. Huh? Come on. I'm talking. See, you you gonna leave here and you gonna do what you wanna do, yep, and you gonna keep right. having what you've what been you having. Yep. But if you listen to what God is saying, it's supernatural. That's why you haven't been getting it because you have been concentrating on the yep. land. You've been concentrating on the product, yes. and you ain't been concentrating on the land. Yes, mother. Come on now. Yes, mother. Are you hearing me? Yes. You too busy trying to concentrate on people and you're not concentrating on the land. Right. You don't possess the people. You don't possess the building. You possess the land. Yes. Yes. Ooh. Amen. Did you hear me? Oh, you too yes. busy trying to possess, glory to God, people and buildings and things of that nature. He never told you to possess that. He told you to possess the land because he may tell you once he give it to you, he may turn around and tell you, okay, I need you to leave from there. So if you possessing the people, ah! Then you won't be able to let go. Come on. Come on. And so you'll get stuck on that land with them people and you will never produce again. Who am I talking Come to? Did everybody go home? Right here. Come on, mother. That's why you got to learn how to wear people. Yes. Glory to God, like the duck do. Huh? They said like a loose garment. Because when God give you something, you got to understand. <laughs> like I told him at 12 noon, you don't know how long you're going to be there. But understand this, God comes to do what he needs to do. What? On that land in the rim of the spirit. And then when God is done, he wants you to do what? Shift and move to another what? Land. And I'm not talking about going to Redlands. Are y'all hearing me? Yes. Well, let me go ahead and pack my boxes because Apostle Jackson, you know, said God get ready to move to another land. So let me hurry up because we get ready to go over here to Anaheim. And you know, because you know, yeah, uh, mm, we get ready to go to, over here to L.A., go to Hollywood. You know, see, you missing it. Right. You still not still trying to conform it right. into places. Come on, mother. Are you hearing me? Yes. When God is talking about the rim of the spirit. Oh, yes. Oh, Jesus. See, y'all done worked the sister up. Genesis chapter 1. Come on, y'all. Yes. Hallelujah. If it's going to receive you, it's going to be subject to you. Did you hear me? Yes, If the land going to receive you, it's going to be subject to you. Are you hearing me? It's going to sustain you. Doesn't that sound familiar? When the Lord told the prophet, he says to the prophet, he said, leave here, leave this land where the brook, where the ravens are feeding you, where the brook has the water, because it's about to do what? Dry up. Dry the up. land yes. is about to stop producing. Mm -hmm. But I have a what? A widow woman that is going to do what? Sustain, sustain. sustain you. That means the land. Yes. Because a widow woman, in reality, she doesn't have enough for her, let alone you. And God was talking about the land. She don't even understand. I'm getting ready to do a miracle on her land. Her land is getting ready to produce her barrel not to run out. Ooh, Jesus. Are you hearing me or did everybody go home? I'm listening, mother. I'm far here. Here we go. Here we go. I told y'all Genesis. Yes. Go to Genesis chapter 1. Genesis chapter 1. And let's hit verse 11. Are you there? Amen. Genesis chapter 1 and verse 11. Oh, you just said a mouthful of pouty. I'm, I'm trying to do the best I can. Y'all just pray for me because I believe it's time for those who have been on the backside of the mountain that has been waiting. I believe it's our time to come to the forefront and not to be glory to God, just taking up space. Mm -hmm. Hello, yes. somebody. Yes. Glory to God for being productive in the kingdom of God. Yes. And to be productive in the kingdom of God, yes. he's talking about the ground. He's talking about the land. Are you hearing me? Yes. We need to be productive. Yes. If God tell us to do something, what he telling us to do, glory to God, and we do what? Possess yes. the land. Yes. Look at your neighbor. Tell your neighbor before the week is out, I'm getting ready to see that thing flourishing. Before the week is out, I'm going to see that thing flourishing. Oh, my God. 
God. You got to possess the land. Are you hearing me? I said you got to possess the land. Yes. You got to go up. Tell your neighbors time for you to go up. It's time for you to go up. Genesis chapter 1 verse 11. Watch what God said. And God said, let the earth, let the earth, let the earth bring forth grass. The herb yielding seed. Let the earth. This is what the earth is supposed to do, saints. Oh, yeah. Hello? And the fruit tree yielding in the fruit tree yielding fruit after his kind, whose seed is in itself upon the earth. And it was so. Verse 12. And the earth brought forth. And the earth brought forth. Are y'all hearing me? Yes. It was God spoke. This when you see the creation here. You see God speaking in the realm of the spirit. He speaks the spiritual things, the things in heaven first. Right. Are you hearing me? Then later on, he said, now he calls the mist to come from the ground. Yeah. And then he had already told the earth to do something before Adam was even created. Yes, mother. Yes. So therefore, when Adam came to stand on the earth, are you hearing me? When Adam spoke, the earth had to do what God had already told it to do. Right. Are y'all hearing me? Did you get that? So before he formed man from the dust, are you hearing me? He already spoke to the earth. Dust come from the earth. Mm -hmm. He said, I'm going to give you the land. Land is earth. Earth and ground. Are you hearing me? He had already spoke it. Is anybody listening? Did everybody go home? Yes. Then it said he caused a mist to come up from the ground. Are you hearing yes. me? Because God said the earth already knows what it's supposed to do. And if you sit here running at the stuff and not running after the rim of the spirit to possess it in the spirit, then the earth in the rim of the spirit will never bring forth. Look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor because on the natural earth ain't nothing coming forth. For you. Because on a natural earth, ain't nothing coming for you. Come on now. Are you hearing me? Yes, I do. Look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor, God has given us all a second chance. God has given us all a second chance. Now what you do with your second chance now, what you do with your second chance is on you. It's on you. Because naturally the earth, the natural earth is not yielding nothing to you. Come right. on. Come on, Are you hearing me? Yes. It is the earth he talking about in the realm of the spirit. Yes. He told it right here. Verse, oh my God. Uh, he said, and God said, let the earth bring forth. Let the earth bring forth. Let the earth bring forth. Let the womb of you bring forth. Are you hearing me? Let the womb of you bring forth. Who am I talk to, talking to? When a person really in the natural want to have a baby and they can't seem to have a baby, there's nothing wrong with the seed. It's something wrong with the earth. And so what happened is, come on somebody, many testimony God has given me that people come apostle, I can't have a baby. And then the Lord say, pray for them. Put your hand on their stomach. Put your hand on their stomach yes. and speak and call the baby to come forth. Come Who am right. I talking to? Because it's something going on in the womb. The womb cannot produce it. Ooh. The womb cannot sustain it. Are you hearing me? Yes. Because when the seed goes into the womb, uh, yes, Lord, into the womb or into the land, watch this, the seed, the land must possess the seed. Yes. And if the, the, the seed is being rejected by the land or rejected by the womb, that woman cannot right. bring forth the baby. Right. Okay. Come on, mother. And that's called, she's barren. She yes. cannot bring forth. Right. But here, the scripture says, God created the heavens and earth. And he said, can I tell you something? This was the third day. Ooh. This was the third day. God said, we walking in the third. Yeah. Jesus Christ is in the third. He, he said, in three days, I'm going to get up. I'm telling you, I'm going in this womb. I'm going in this earth. I'm going in this land. I'm going in to possess it. it. Y'all, what's wrong? <laughs> I'm going in to possess it. And guess what? I'm coming Ooh, forth. Jesus. I'm coming forth. Yes. I'm coming forth. Except the seed go oh, in the ground. Right. And huh? Come Look on. like it ain't bringing forth nothing. Ooh. But don't you worry, baby, because I'm dancing on top of it. Yes, because I'm God. getting ready to get it. That's why I'm praising God. That's why I'm giving God the glory. Because I've already, what? Conceived with the seed. I mix my faith with the preached word. And when the word is being preached and I mix my faith with it, something has to come forth. Has to. <clears throat> 
Are you hearing me? Yes. Glory to God. All right, prophetess Johnson. And I know, I know Jesus said, except that seed go into that land, go and possess it. Are you hearing me? Yes. See, he would have never did it if he didn't possess the land. Come on, mother. Come on. Because if he didn't own the land, then the land could reject him. Are you hearing me? So all that he was doing in the land, what did it say? It said he went down and took what? The keys, the keys yes. and took the sting out of death. Yes. What's wrong with y'all? Yes. Because the land was yielding to him because he possessed it. Wow. Are you hearing me? Yes. My God, my God, my God, my God. My God, look at your neighbor. Tell your neighbor we're getting ready to we're getting ready to stop right here. They they ain't even want to say that. I told them they were about to say that. No, we didn't say that. We did y'all understand? That's a lot of meat right there for you to chew on. You don't think that's a lot of meat for you to chew on? I told you you could eat on chapter one, verse ten and eleven. It said, "Can I let me go to verse 10. And God brought land, Sister Regina and Sykes, earth. He called the dry land yes. earth. earth. So if the the so if the dry land is called earth, if the dry land, if the dry land, if the dry land, if the dry land, get it, is called earth, that means it is a dry place. He called the dry land earth, right? And gathered together. Of the waters called the seas, and God saw it was good, and God said to let the earth, which is a dry land. I'm telling you, you may be dry, you may not want to produce, but I'm telling you land, I'm telling you earth, I'm telling you ground, what you are supposed to do. Now, how is it and why is it that God told the land, the earth, what to do, and we're blocking the earth from doing what it's supposed to do for us? Mm -hmm. Woo! Jesus. Because either it's going to do what? Receive? Right. Or it's going to reject? Right. Right. Well, Lord, I'm in a dry place. God said, hold on. Go back to Genesis 1. Because I called earth. That it was a dry place. But I told this dry place to bring forth. Hello? I told this dry place to bring forth. I think we could stop right there and let the church say amen. Mm -hmm. Let the earth bring forth grass. Let the earth, this dry place, let it bring forth grass. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The earth yielding seed. God said the only seed that will be able to go into the ground, it had to be a seed that will yield and bring forth. That's why if a seed you get and it is not the seed that is a yielding seed, it will reject it because it makes it known what type of seed that it's supposed to accept, which mean the only seed it's supposed to accept is the word of God because that's the yielding seed. Are you hearing me? So doubt is not the yielding seed. That's not the yielding seed. Ooh. Faith is the yielding seed. Mother! I can do all things through Jesus Christ is the yielding seed. We can't do nothing is not the yielding seed. That means it's rejected. That means the ground is rejected. So how many times you've been getting the word, glory to God, and you've been talking opposite of the word because you've been going through and get back up because it's only supposed to accept the yielding, yielding seed. seed. Come on. It's right here in your Bible. The yielding seed and the fruit tree yielding fruit after his kinds, whose seed is in itself, which means it will reproduce all the time. So this is, is supernatural. And you need to understand that why you sitting and getting the word. And you sitting here and the people prophesy and I see the house and I see the car. And instead of you realizing you were supposed to go up and possess the land. Why? Because over here it told me in Genesis chapter 1 verse 10. First of all, earth is a what? Dry place. But don't worry. I've already commanded the dry place to do something. 
but it only will do some if it has a yielding seed and a seed which has another seed within itself, which means it will always produce, which means if you ever, if the enemy ever try to take that, you ain't going to get upset. I'm going right on back in because why? Because that seed is a seed that will reproduce. I need somebody to clap your hands and say, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Jesus. Well, Listen, listen, listen. So much more to say, but this is, this is, it's supernatural. Will your land receive the seed or will it reject it? And so for all that God has said for this night, wow. I believe that's enough for you to go and you and the Holy Spirit to just start working on it, dig more into it. And if the Lord tarries, we'll be right back next Wednesday. Glory to God, picking it back up. Will the land receive or reject your seed? Baby, I come to tell you, not come to prophesy to somebody. Before 2017 come in here, your land is going to come forth. Your land is going to come forth in blessings. Your land is going to come forth with promotions. Look at your neighbor. Tell your neighbor, you ain't got to worry about nobody. Ain't it ain't even, you don't have to worry about those that are against you. Because if you get that land for you, you ain't got to worry about who's against you. Are you hearing me? So be encouraged and realize that God is saying we need to understand it's more to this than what we are preaching and teaching and what the people are receiving. It's more to it. We need to understand. We need to go back to the basics. But God is saying, go back to the beginning and see how I did everything. Because if I've given you a land, I've given you the land that's going to do what? And that has already been earmarked for you, but you keep running after the stuff and you ain't even possessed the land yet. Well, I'm Apostle Jackson. We thank God for you. And we thank God for you, you, and you. Yes. Until next Wednesday, around about 7.30, California time. It's supernatural. Come on, somebody give God some glory in the house. Give